welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very special day because as you can tell, Pang Pang Lee is going to show you how to do the Pang Pang buns. If you're really excited, please stay tuned because I am going to teach you the basics of double bunning. Yes. We want your buns to look amazing. This is not your everyday double bun tutorial because when I've seen other double bun blah, 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 when I've seen other double bun tutorials on YouTube, they're all for everyday wear. You don't flip in everyday wear. We're going to be flipping in this. We're going to be moving, competing. The judges are gonna be like, dang, those buns! I must give her a 10. No, not really, but it's okay. At least we can try. I hope I see lots of other little penguins with the double buns this season. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Press the thumbs up. Enjoy bunning. Okay guys, so I always start my competition hair off with two braids. <coughs> <coughs> what is happening with my voice? And the reason why I do this is because then my hair will be nice and wavy. Check out the little eye icon. I don't know which side it's gonna come on. There's a video that shows you how to do these two braids so that you are prepared for competition. So, fun part, now we gotta take them out. So the key with the double braids and the double buns is that I use mousse. I use just this Tresemme mousse. You can use any mousse, I just like it better in my hair. You'll see when I take them out, it won't be as frizzy. So I actually slept in these last night and this is what I normally do for competition. The night before I prepare and I put my hair in two braids so that I am able to have nice wavy hair. Now you can shake it out. Now you have nice, huge, lioness hair. Yes. Could, should we be like one of those hair commercials and like go from the back? This is what my hair looks like and now you are ready to do your double buns. This helps, it makes it a lot easier to put up. My hair looks like it's a, it's a lion's den. Sometimes you know I just go out in the daily life like this because I think it kind of looks, it looks very exotic. I like it. I might just rock this look today. Yes, wavy hair. <laughs> for days. Before I get started with this video, I'm gonna tell you what you need. You're going to need <laughs> a brush, any brush really, one with teeth. If your brush doesn't have teeth, then that's a problem. You're also going to need just regular sized elastics. So I use hair elastics, hair ties, whatever you wanna call it. There's different terms in Canada and different terms in America. So I call them hair elastics. People don't know what I'm talking about. It's a hair tie. This one I just picked satin smooth. I mean, you could pick whatever hair ties you want, but this is the brand that I use. You can get this at Target, you can get this at CVS, at Walmart, really. I think you can find hair ties anywhere like this. Get ones that hold nicely, because you are going to be competing in these. Secondly, you're going to be using thin ones. So this is also by the same brand. You can also get them at Target, CVS. These are thinner than these ones. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but they're thinner. Ugh, oh, my head's itchy. The last thing what you would need is you need bobby pins. Yes, this is the secret of the double buns, the bobby pins. This I am using for thick hair. If you have thin hair, honestly, it doesn't matter if it says thick hair or not because these ones will at least lock into each other. You want your buns to be so secure, and I find with the little pins, they're very thin, so in competition, you just have bobby pins flying out everywhere. Can you hear the garbage truck outside? It's so loud! <sighs> Let's get double budding. So you're gonna take whatever's pointy. I like to use a makeup brush that's pointy just because it's rounded at the top so it's not gonna scrape my head. My head is so itchy. Oh my head, this feels so good. Ah, I'm finding all these spots in my head that is itchy. Take your little device, <laughs> your device, <laughs> your makeup brush, and you're just gonna take it down the center. You can ask a friend to help you with this because sometimes, you know, it's hard to see what you're doing. So your hair should look like this, and then like so in the back. I just grab a scrunchie, I mean you could grab hair elastic. Put this here for now so that I don't grab this side. Yeah. You're gonna take your two thicker elastics, hair ties, my bad, and you're going to put your hair in fun little pigtails. So grab your chunk of hair and put it roughly around where you want the bun. I like my buns a little higher. Actually, it depends. Sometimes they're closer together, sometimes they're further apart. We're gonna take this. If you want, you can brush your hair so it's super smooth at the back. I don't. Let's, we'll make it clean. How about that? We'll make it really clean for you guys. So take your brush, brush it through the bottom, grab your pieces of hair, start 
start putting it in your hair tie, your hair elastic. And I like to tie it around four times. All right, pull it, and then you have your start, your base. Take your other side. Oh, make sure you don't grab these pieces. Sometimes I ask someone just to hold this while I'm doing this. Brush your hair. Ow. Take your trusty handy dandy other hair tie. Then, bam, we have two pigtails. Yes! I'm like baby spuss. Oh, so now that we have two pigtails, we are ready to double bun. This process is actually pretty simple. You're going to take the smaller elastics. I grabbed a bunch. I use a total of six hair elastics, and that's three in each. Sometimes you can use four, you can use more depending on how secure you want to feel or how tight you want your head to feel. But I'm just going to put the tiny ones, the tiny, tiny hair elastics around my wrist. If your hair is not thick, you can always tease it, and teasing it will make your hair fluffier. The good thing about the waves is that the waves will help make them fluffy overnight, so as you can see, my hair looks very fun. Let's just, let's tease it. Why not? So you're gonna grab, eh, let me come closer, and you're gonna take a section of it, so like say, oops, that much. Then you're gonna take your brush and go in a downwards like motion, down towards your elastic. This is what it looks like after. A rat's nest. We're gonna go ahead and tease the rest of our head. All right, my hair looks fluffy already. I look like one of those lady in the tramp dogs. So you're gonna take your hair and you're going to twist it ever so lightly as you are coming around. If you have little hairs that are flying away, it's okay, because you're just gonna brush them on in. But as you go around, slightly twist it into a nice little looking bun like so. Take your hair elastic and you're going to wrap it around only twice. So like that. So the reason why we only do twice is because if you do it too many times, your bun is going to get really small. So you're going to take it again and wrap it around twice until you have roughly three hair elastics right in there. Perfect! Now you have a double bun rough draft. So now we're going to do the other side. And we're going to bring it forward around your head like so. at that. We have two buns. Don't worry about, about it not being even yet. That's where the bobby pins will come in. But these are ginormous. I don't normally tease my hair because I have thick hair, but guys, if you have thin hair, your buns are going to look bunalicious. <laughs> so I actually like to take my hair elastic and go this way so I don't ruin the other side of my bun. So I turn my hair elastic on this side. Then you take the other one, go this way. So you can see that this one is not very symmetrical to this one. But that's okay, because we're now going to take our bobby pins. Key to competition! Bobby pins! Bobby pins! Bobby pins! Bobby pins! Bobby pins save lives. No, they save your hair during competition. I normally put like four in each bun, or you could put five, however you feel more secure. Since this one's nice, let's start with this one, because this one will be the display one of how I want to duplicate these buns. Okay, so you're going to take this bobby pin and put it right in the front of your head and underneath all of your hair elastics. So you're gonna take your other one and you're gonna put it on the side underneath all of your hair elastics. And you'll start to feel your bobby pins almost click in together, but take your other one here and put it on the side and go underneath your hair elastic. So now it's starting to look more bun-like. And then lastly, you want to put one at the back so that all of your pins are secure and they should not be able to move. So that, guys, is one bun. Yes, that is a nice looking bun. Or in my bun, I like to make a cross with my bobby pin so that they're all locked in together. So one in the front, one in the back, one side, one side. During competition, if you need more bobby pins, I suggest you bring some to the meet with you. If you lose one, you're not stressed out. This guy is not even. So I want him to look more like him. Yeah, I'm calling my buns hymns because I don't know why. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Go one in the front, one in the side. You see how this is coming up a little bit? I'm actually going to push my bun down so that I can pin it down and it'll stay more in a circular position. There, you see? 
Wow. Same thing. So I'm going to take this guy and pull it down and take my bobby pin and push him down as I'm pushing them underneath all my hair elastics. So now it's more circular. And then for the last step, put one in the back. Look, wow, we have some double buns now. What is this? <gasps> What is this? If you have a stray hair like this guy, then I take a small bobby pin. Where are my bobby pins at? So just like a regular everyday bobby pin, I take this piece of hair, I pull it down towards my hair elastic, hold it with my finger, and just bobby pin that in. Solves all your problems. We did have a little teal bow to represent all the survivors from this year. I kept it, so I have it. It's just this little ribbon, and I put it on a bobby pin. I take the bobby pin and I just put it in the front and I go downwards because if you go up it's more likely to slide so go down this way just stick it in there put it on the side open your little bow up and there you go a cute little pop of color right there your double buns are done yay look how simple that was wasn't that hard at all right that's not hard to do it wasn't that bad your final step is up to you whether you want to hairspray your hair you know lay the edges down up to you uh I don't do anything, but if you want, you can take your hairspray and just spray some of these guys down. Oh, I hate hairspray, which is why I don't use it. Yep, uh huh. Spray your buns so they don't move. Yep, uh. <laughs> and then the final, final step to my doll bun is the pen test. Shake your head and then see if anything moves, like any loose piece of hair. If your buns feel very secure, then you're ready for the competition, so just shake your head a little bit. You may look like an idiot, but it's okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more hair tutorials, what kind of hair you guys have, and what other hair suggestions you might want. We can do a braided double bun, maybe different double bun hair tutorials. I know how to do the braids on the side, so we can do some funky braiding if you guys want to see that. I really appreciate you guys following me and checking in on me on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, press the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and I hope you guys enjoy competing with your double buns, and I hope it gives you guys some confidence and some uniqueness. It is a fun look.